hello everyone in this video we are going to create this amazing motion graphics liquid glass molecules it is making breaking some of its bond and interacting with the external object for this we are going to use blender 5.0 so let's get start first we're going to add a plane so this is going to be kind of our host object then we're going to add the geometry nodes uh, let's delete this first we need the points so we're going to add the points node so we have one point and let's increase this to 5 and here we need to define the position of these points and for the position we're going to use the random node make this negative one so now we have these five points okay so next we're going to move them based on the noise so add the set position node and here add the vector scale node okay and next we're going to add the noise texture plug this into the vector and disable this option okay because we need the negative values for the noise and here maybe we can use three and make this zero and also change this to 40 and we're going to animate this value so add the multiply node and then add the time frame node okay so now these points are moving and another thing we can add is that the seed for the noise uh, let me add this make this as one and like here 100 so now we have different seed for this noise okay so we have these points and next we're going to generate the sdf grid based on these points so type point to sdf grid so we have this and then we're going to add the grid to mesh node and plug that into this so let me bring that here so we have these spheres that are moving and they are also morphing to each other like kind of metabols and here you can control the radius of these objects okay so next we need to smooth this surface okay so first we can use the smooth geometry node that is recently added to blender 5.0 and next uh, we can add the set shade smooth node to smooth the shading so if we do this it is smooth but see we have these ripples or these bands on these spheres so that is because of this finite size of the voxels so we can't make really small voxel size so what we can do we can smooth the normal of this mesh add the set mesh normal node change that to free and add here the normal node okay and after that we can add the blur node so we can smooth that around 0.5 See, now they are really smooth and if we decrease the voxel size we have really nice clean mesh and here we need to increase this to around 50 nice so this is the setup now so next we're going to build the bonds between these points basically these points so for that we're going to use the for each element nodes this one so this node is really powerful it allow you to do the operation on each element so whatever operation you add here it's going to evaluate it on each element so we have different options for the domain so in this case we're going to evaluate on the points so if we plug this into this so now inside this node we have individual element so we can access different data of this element so in this case we need the position of the element or the points so we have this position and this rectangular socket represent a single value okay so next we're going to instance the lines based on this position so for the instancing we're going to use the same points add the instance on points node plug that into this and here we're going to add the c line 
uh, let me show you this so we have these lines and because we have five points it means we have five elements and we are instancing the lines on five points for each element means we have 25 instances okay so next we're going to add the subtract node duplicate that and plug this into this so this is the direction for all these points based on this element okay so here we're going to add the align rotation to vector node okay and connect this to this see uh, we have this uh, but some of the lines are pointing up it means this vector is zero uh, this is because we are using the same geometry uh, for the element and also using the same geometry or same points for the instancing so it means when this element and this point is same we have this distance zero so what we can do we can calculate the length and we can use that as mask so when the length is greater than zero we can use that for the selection see those lines are gone so this is before and this is after okay so next we're going to animate this scale based on the distance so we have this distance or the length of this vector so we can add the map range node and here we can add the mix node connect this to the b socket and plug that into the scale so we have something like this okay so now we're going to define the vector based on this distance okay so zero means points are really close to each other so we want this vector to one and when they are far from each other we want this vector to zero so let's connect that and here i think we should add 1.5 and this is 2.5 see when they are moving away from each other the bonds are breaking okay so as they moving close to each other the bond is forming okay nice you can play with these values okay so next we need to realize this because these are the instances and after that we're going to convert that to mesh and here we're going to add the curve circle i think 12 point is fine and we can decrease it is radius so we have these lines so next uh, we're going to generate the stf grid based on this mesh so mesh to stf grid node and next we're going to combine this with this grid okay so let me first set this voxel size same as this voxel size otherwise it's going to create some problem so let me add the value node and plug that into the voxel okay to combine these grids we're going to use the stf boolean node change that to union and then combine these grids and plug that into this so we have this problem we can fix that increase the bandwidth to 5 now it is fixed we can also decrease this threshold maybe 0 0.035 with this we can make these lines really thin okay or we can do is that uh, we can add the set curve radius node and add the radius here so now we have this control based on the curve radius uh, maybe 2.5 yeah something like that and let me move this to this side next we're going to combine this with the external object so let's add the join geometry node add that here and here we're going to combine the text so let's add the string to curve node realize this because these are the instances next we can add is the set curve radius to this and plug that into this and here we can type the text uh, let me make this at the center and increase it is scale maybe four so we have something like this and if we increase the radius see it is not uniform here so this is because of the low resolution of this text curve let me show you this see this problem 
so we can fix that at the re sample node after the realize instance node and change that to length and maybe we can sample at 0 0.035 okay so now we have this uniform width of this text yeah i think three is fine slightly bigger than these bonds okay so next we're going to add the material to this and i'm going to use the glass material go to the shading add the material and select that material here now let me go to the cycles so first we're going to make this transmission one and here we can play with this roughness next we're going to disable this hdr image and we're going to use the custom lighting for this so for the lighting we're going to use the area light we have this and i think we should light this from the back i think we should also increase the roughness so you can add different kind of lighting for this you can also add the thin film to this so that will add this kind of color variation so that looks really nice see uh, this is it you can get the project file from my patreon page i hope you learned something from this video so if you like then please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noting bye